These are gonna be my thoughts on the Samsung UJ59 4K monitor. I've been using mine with the Mac Mini M1 edition and I've been liking it a lot. My initial thoughts are it's really big. I'd, I've never had a 32 inch screen before. It's only been 27 inches and it's very noticeable and I like it a lot, especially for doing video editing and stuff like that. It makes it a lot uh, more enjoyable to be able to edit videos and just browse the internet and have multiple tabs and different uh, pages and whatnot open. It makes things a lot easier, it makes things nice and it's an enjoyable feature to have a bigger screen. It's not necessary for sure, 27 inches definitely is very good, a <laughs> great size for a screen already, but 32 inches, you notice a, a giant difference. Even though it doesn't sound like a ton, it really does just, it feels like it's way bigger than 27 inches. As far as the screen resolution goes, I think it, it looks great. I definitely notice a little bit of differences here and there, uh, just with how clear every little bit of text is and videos are. It's just a little different. It's not hugely different from my iMac, but there's a slight difference in, in screen quality. Obviously, it's there. And you do notice it because a, a screen monitor, you're so close to it, you, you can notice all those tiny little details. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're going from a 5K iMac to a 4K monitor with a Mac Mini, if that's your situation. Or if you're possibly just looking to get this monitor and you haven't had that before, you're gonna love the monitor. It's a great one. I like it a lot. It, it works great. One complaint with it, it does take a little while to turn on. It takes about, from the time that I turn on my, when I tap the button on my keyboard to turning on the monitor itself, it takes about five to seven seconds. So it's a little bit of a wait time, a little bit of an annoyance right there. As far as the color accuracy and whatnot goes, I, I don't see, I'm not someone who's so in depth into the color accuracy of everything to being ha having to be just exactly spot on. That's not the type of person I am. So I can't give you a great review of, of that. Um, for my eyes and what I've used before with the iMac 27 inches, it, it, it looks very similar. It's obviously not quite as good, but I, I don't notice a huge difference. I mean, for the price that you can get this monitor, right around $300 to $350, it's it's a great buy in my opinion, and uh, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna be upset about your purchase. The one thing I will mention is the durability, the construction of it. It's very plastic feeling. It, I thought it'd be a little bit more robust feeling, but uh, you know it, it gets by. It's not like I'm gonna be moving my monitor around all the time. Like, if you're someone who does that, I think that's a very rare situation where you're gonna be moving a monitor back and forth from different places. Most of us are gonna set a monitor down and it'll be there for its entire life. <laughs> Maybe one or two moves, depending if you change up your room or something like that. But majority of us, we're gonna be setting our monitor down and leaving it be. And as far as just doing that, it looks great. It works great, no issues there. It doesn't have metal bezels or a metal uh, stand or anything like that. It, it's made out of plastic, but you know, it works. It's It looks good, it works. For myself, I'm not very concerned about those details. But if you're someone who really cares about those things, just have that in mind so that you know. Overall, I would recommend getting it if you're looking for a very large 4K screen to edit videos on, to just enjoy using your computer with. It's great. I don't use it for gaming. I have it connected to a Mac, so that's not really a gaming PC. For me, I use a 27 inch monitor for gaming with a, a PC, a regular Windows PC. As far as using it for work or just general use applications, browsing the internet, stuff like that, it's great. I really like it a lot. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with it and I would highly recommend trying it out. I hope this was helpful for you. If you're looking to get this monitor or have some questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to everyone that's looking for a response. Thanks for coming by, we'll see you in the next one.